The weather app says we got about 11 inches of snow. I'd say it's more like six, but you know, it is a bit frozen over. Mister is gonna come out and just like shovel the walkway and stuff this morning. Um, <laughs> also, the furnace seems to be not working correctly. The fan's not coming on. It's heating up, but the fan's not coming on. We do have alternate ways to heat the house, which we're using, but yeah, so we, along with probably who knows how many other people, have a call into the furnace people. Hopefully, they're gonna get somebody out here today. I don't know when exactly, but sometime today. And uh, yeah, never a dull moment, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna go check the mail real quick, and then I'm gonna park my butt on the couch, maybe with a cup of tea. That's not the right key. And uh, hope they come sooner rather than later. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, January 15th, 8.38 a.m. Um, the furnace is still not working. It's about... Um, 8.30. 8.38 Yeah, it's what? I don't know, 57, 60? Oh, 57, 58 degrees in the house. Yeah. Um, supposedly the furnace people are on their way. Uh, if they can get here, road conditions are pretty bad right now. And I guess we'll see. Yeah. It says 57. Yeah, 57. Yeah. So we're all bundled up yeah. and just trying to keep it above 32 in the house. So nothing freezes. Yeah. So, you know. You got the fireplace on? Yeah, the fireplace is going. Fireplace is going. It's been going. Fun fact, we found out it has a nine-hour automatic shutoff. <laughs> we didn't even know about. Needless to say, it was on for nine hours yesterday, last night and turned off. It, exactly. And so it turned itself off and we were like, wait, what happened? Yeah. And then, yeah. Anyway. Always an adventure around here. There's always something crazy going on. So anyway, my uh, little sister, her husband, and her two boys are off to the airport to fly home to Maryland. Um, they stayed the night. They were so sweet. They braved the cold. They said, that's ah, not bad. It's no. fine. Um, well, he was wearing shorts when he left. Brendan was wearing, was yeah. Wearing her husband was wearing shorts. And a sweatshirt. And it's 18, 20 degrees outside. Yeah. So anyway, the little ones were so cute, and um, I, my husband kept, Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, come play with me. <laughs> Uncle Bob, will you come play with me? Sure, okay. Yeah, all night long. So anyway, and there's a couple of toys they've put away in a safe place somewhere. Can't but, find them. No, well, we'll we either. Find them one of these days. Yeah, at It'll some point. Out. At some point, oh, there it is. So anyway. Well, we'll get a call from them. From uh, from their house. Oh yeah, we have. We it. found it in so and so's backpack. Yeah, we found it in a backpack. Is that yours? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all right. And I was able to give away another blanket. My niece took one. Our little sister. Sorry, that's complicated. I'm not going to explain right now. Um, she took a blanket home. So yay, she took a blanket home with her. She said that's perfect. The boys don't need a blanket, but she took it home to use on the plane for herself. She said. Um, husband evidently doesn't need one because hello, he's walking around in shorts when it's like 17 degrees outside. So, hey, they're at the gate. They're there. Yay! Okay. So anyway, I will check back in with you soon. Hopefully, they can fix the furnace today. But I guess we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I'm trying to stay out of it because, as my husband says, I get tend to get too involved and interrupt and. <laughs> Anyway, anxiety much, <laughs> but he's handling it. It appears that we have something frozen. <laughs> Big surprise, a drain pipe or something for the furnace is frozen. And so they are working to thaw it at the moment. But if we can get it up and working, bonus and um, then we might go for a walk. So we'll see frozen pipe so yeah we don't normally get temperatures like we've gotten the last few days here in Oregon but we still have at least 24 or more hours of these crazy temperatures so they're gonna do a couple fix uh, fixes to keep things from being frozen again so basically the drain pipes froze so yeah 
we know how to short-term fix it, but they're gonna install some things that will help us and make it easier to unclog when needed. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, we are going out for a walk. Our furnace is repaired. We now have emergency backup drainage options so we don't have it go out again. And it's all good. I've got my cleats on. Yes, it's still snowy out. Road conditions are iffy. We have probably 24 hours or so of more freezing icy weather. So yeah, that's a thing. I think after this we'll go home, have some lunch, maybe watch a couple movies. They're really asking people to like still stay home for the next day or so, so we'll do that. All right, let's go get some steps in and see if, what we can see, see how icy things are. I'll be back. From our walk, my face is a little red. That felt good though. The backup drainage system on the furnace is working. The house is nice and toasty. So yay, we just have to remember while it's cold like this and below freezing to check it every few hours. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch now. I'll be back. Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I think it's still morning. Yes, it's 10, 11 a.m. We uh, slept in a bit, well, I slept in a bit. Mister had to get up for work. Um, yesterday, we got up really early to see my little sister, her husband and the boys off to the airport and so that meant by dinner time yesterday, we were just dragging. I was so tired. Um, I feel better today. Now we still have at least 24 hours of ice and snow left before things start melting, which means that, and I agree with them, my daughter and her husband are keeping their baby home. Junior is staying home. Um, it's safer to not be on the road. I agree, totally agree with that. It also means though that I have some time to actually film the RC Trio videos, which I was supposed to do last week. Um, I said I was gonna do in the vlog. I just said it in the vlog and I, I didn't do it yet. I also have to do some daily drawings um, because the weekend was so busy. I'm a couple of days behind. So I'm gonna try to get all that done today along with a little bit of crocheting because of course and yeah, it's too cold to go work on the desk out in the garage. The garage is freezing cold, but I did find some sandpaper up here because we still haven't been to the store yet, but I have a little bit up here, so. Anyway, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. We're gonna let the computer do its thing. It's rendering the vlog right now, and I'm gonna grab myself some water and sit and just chill for a minute while it does that and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I ended up filming a video I've been thinking about for a long time, another handmade pincushion, a mushroom this time. And I just finished editing the video and it's rendering right now. Here is our new addition to the pincushion collection and my sewing section of my art room. Um, I did have some problems, weirdly enough, with the video. Um, I used my phone to, f phone to film with, and some of the video audio is a little strange. So I did put a warning blurb in the video at the beginning. You will notice my voice sounds strangely odd. It's not your imagination. So yeah, that's a thing. But anyway, I, I don't know what I did. I'm out of practice, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to sit now and let it render and then hopefully get things uploaded real quick to YouTube. And I need to get out my link to the Artsy Trio people uh, for the next round and all of that jazz. So, all right, I haven't done any crocheting yet today, but I do wanna work on my blanket today. So that is a thing and yeah. We're supposed to get more, well, we are having more freezing temperatures. <laughs> Lord, part of my art room's right over the garage and yeah, it's a little cold. It does look like things are sort of melting, but I bet you they're pretty icy too. So yeah, it's not supposed to dip below 20 tonight, but we're still below 32, which is freezing. So I don't know. 
it's a thing. Keeping an eye on the furnace. It's gonna be a couple more days before we don't have to worry about that or pipes or, yeah. All right, I'll hey be guys, back. It is 2 p.m. on Wednesday, January 17th, and it is supposedly uh, 42 degrees outside. But yeah. Um, things are very icy. We had a lot of ice build up over the last few days and it's going to take a while to melt. It's not going to happen overnight. We are above freezing at the moment and we're going to stay there for a little bit, but we're supposed to dip back down again to freezing or just below freezing again Thursday night, Friday morning. So anyway, yeah, um, the furnace is working though. Yay. I got some, I got a good start on the year end bookkeeping for last year. Um, for the YouTube channel, I got, um, yarn sorted out for another blanket. I got, oh, the Christmas cards I went through, I, as I do every year, update addresses and add people, take people off who've moved or passed away or whatever. And so I did that this morning, lined up some sewing projects on the table, um, fixed one of them. I had one mending thing and I did that one already. So anyway, it's just a chill, relaxing day. I don't even know if we'll get any walking in. I'd love to go walking. I don't mind walking in the snow, but it's very icy. And even with cleats, that's a problem. And they're telling everybody to just stay home. No driving, no walking, no nothing. The streets are empty, evidently. One of the communities near us has declared a state of emergency because the ice is so bad. Yeah, it's just a thing. Anyway, but we're all good. I'm going to sit here, listen to some YouTube, and work on another blanket because, you know, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. I'm not going to go too far because slippery, but I heard earlier my neighbor's husband pounding on his driveway. It sounded like he was hammering nails. He was actually just trying to break up the ice in his driveway and make a path to their front door and to their car. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. It's ice, it's just ice. Oh yeah. We are not going anywhere tonight. Guys, so yes, I like walking, but my husband's in that job. Uh, he's crazy. We have our cleats on. We have our coats on. We're going to go for a walk. It's probably going to be a short one because things are still um, icy and crunchy. I think this morning we had about an inch of ice everywhere on average. Today, right now, somewhere between a half inch and a quarter inch. But yeah, I do have cleats on and I'm walking slow. As my friend Laura Gregane says, walk like a penguin. This is definitely uh, covered in ice. This is ice. And we're the only crazy ones out here, nutty enough to be out here doing this. Lord almighty. All right, I'll be back. Thank you, A little video for you in our neighborhood. See all that? This it's is a regular... Regular neighborhood regular street. street yeah. And it's one solid piece of ice. Yeah. It's still about... Like I said, a quarter to half inch thick still. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys. I don't think I've vlogged all day today because it's been a busy day. Been babysitting all day. Um, it's still snowy and slushy, but there's a lot less ice. Um, it's above freezing. We have our hiking boots on, not our cleats. Because I think we're going to try going to the grocery store and getting it over with. Get it over with. Yeah. So 
Let's see how this goes. The car started, yay. <laughs> um, yep. Looks like we have to stop and get gas too. We have not been out of the house since my dad's birthday party on Saturday. To go anywhere. To go anywhere. So we don't li know what the shops are like. Hopefully things are open. We have no idea. So I guess it'll be an interesting adventure. I'll be back. It is four something p.m. <laughs> Friday, January 19th, 4.29. I am cooking a lasagna for family dinner night. Rebecca Polyus and grandson are coming over. Um, I got another blanket done. I got another bl basket of yarn prepped for another blanket. This is gonna be a bulky one because I'm gonna pair two yarns together. I was gifted a bunch of this sort of nubbly yarn. It's a lion brown yarn, boucle, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly, but anyway. So we're gonna use a larger hook probably a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna pair that up with some Red Heart worsted weight um, uh, in brown. And I um, have a bunch of different colors of that nubbly yarn. So um, we'll do another scrap afghan. And I got this one done today. This, this is the last of this sort of blue and brown, white stripey yarn. So I can move on to a different color right now. <laughs> um, so I got that done. I'm also gonna start working on some Red Heart Granny Squares. I do think I wanna make myself a sweater or cardigan out of them, which means I might need another one or two balls. So there's that. Anyway. <laughs> So, and tomorrow, I might go get the rest of the yarn tomorrow. I did order a few things from Amazon, but I'm gonna need to go to Fred Meyer or Walmart or something soon, and we also need to go to Costco. Uh, we might try to do those this weekend, maybe. Uh, we've got some stuff going on next week, um, which is gonna occupy our time, but um, the snow is finally melting. Good news, yay! Snow and ice, I should say. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, we never did lose power. It, the lights flickered a few times, but we never did actually lose power. The only thing is that drain pipe for the furnace froze, and so we were without a furnace for about 24 hours. So we, ma we managed. Thank you, we have a gas fireplace. We just fired that puppy up, figured out how to have it on like full blast, blow everything out really hard at the same time and yeah got it working anyway i am gonna sit and watch a little bit of youtube while i'm waiting for people to come and husband to get off of work and i'll be back hey guys all right so it is saturday morning just before 10 a.m um gotta put my seatbelt on Mister is headed off to the gun range with some of the kids. He's going to meet them there. Uh, I don't do that sort of thing. Uh, listen, people, I can't even snorkel with any up, without ending up with staples, so there's that. Um, I also don't like weapons. Um, anyway, most a lot of the snow is melting, um, but. It's still getting down to freezing or below freezing at night. So things are still pretty frozen and there's still quite a bit of snow on the ground. I don't usually drive in the snow. Cause that's not a thing for me, but I need to go run some errands and probably the worst street is gonna be the one I'm driving on right now, my street. So we are gonna just take it slow husband's waiting at the end of the street to make sure I get out okay that's funny uh we're gonna just take it slow and if people don't like it they can go around me but you know in inclement weather if you drive unsafely do stupid things win stupid prizes so anyway I do have a Subaru it is all-wheel drive but yeah anyway
right, let's get it done. I do think I'm gonna go out one street versus the other because one is flatter. So just in case we hit icy patches. Anyway, we're gonna go to Walmart, Fred Meyer, and probably Joann's. I need pieces and parts and so a few food things and stuff from kind of all of them. So we're gonna just do them all. I'm low on face cream. I use Cetaphil these days. I used Mary Kay for a long time, but I do have sensitive skin and there's something about their face creams and or my skin that make me break out lately. So I switched to Cetaphil quite a bit ago and um, it's just a very basic cream. But it works, it keeps my face moisturized and it doesn't make me break out or get itchy because that's a thing. I have sensitive skin. Anyway, after that we are going to go home and make some more granny squares. I've been playing with the Red Heart granny square yarn and while it is challenging and I think everybody who's reviewed the yarn has said that um, because you have to have the tension just right. I do tend to be a loose tension crocheter and I went down a hook size from five and a half mil millimeter to four and a half and that seemed to solve most of the problems. I might try doing it with a four millimeter today and see what that looks like. Um, but you know, it's pretty easy. You can make a granny square in just a few minutes and you don't have to worry about weaving in all the crazy yarn ends or... I do have a little bit of a challenge at the very last color, but um, again, I might try going down another half a size crochet hook and see if that helps. And I think that's kind of the key with the yarn is to... Um, you have to adjust your tension and or hook size. So anyway, we're gonna go actually go see if we can pick up some more of the yarn because I do like working with it. So uh, let's go get it done and see what we can see. And yes, this road is much less crazy than my street I live on. So there's that. I'll be back. Hey, checking out at Walmart is now like checking out at Costco. I refuse to go to self checkout um, unless I absolutely have to. And they did have clerks, so I went there. But you have to exit the store in the exit only lane and they have to stop and check everybody's receipt so yeah very much like Costco anyway it'd be interesting to see well why don't you just stop and let me go Jesus Christ um it'd be interesting to see what Target's doing because I've heard about some changes at Target too I hate this parking lot it's always a nightmare. And that's when it's not snowing. Uh, anyway, all right, enough complaining. Let's get it done. Uh, I just recorded the ending and the thing was none. <laughs> uh, are you recording now? Yeah. Okay. And he's laughing at me, but he's deservedly so. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Anyway, as I said when I wasn't recording, I spent the day playing with Red Heart's uh, all-in-one granny square yarn and I I love it I said that to you all earlier when I was out running errands I was out looking for some more colors I did find this one which I like um, they didn't have a lot at my local Joann's so I ended up coming home and ordering some from Yarn Inspirations they actually have more colors there than the Joann's website even has although this color seems to be the popular color because I got two skeins of it but it's sold out everywhere um, Glad I got the two that I did. I'd love one more, but anyway. Um, I also um, made this week these little, I have two of these little pouches. It's big enough for a crochet hook, a pair of travel scissors, and a needle. And I love this all-in-one granny square because I'm the type that needs to have something to do to deal with my anxiety, whether it's drawing or crocheting or something, especially when we're in the car on a road trip um, and traveling. And I can just grab a ball of this, grab my little small bag, and I can stuff that in a backpack and I can go. I love that. Um, I also have my minimal um, 
travel art case and both both that and this will easily fit in my backpack um so that's wonderful it'll keep me busy and out of his hair which you know he usually appreciates yeah. that yeah i want i like when you're out of my hair let uh, see um anyway he spent the day at the range with the kids and they had a good time then we met up for lunch we didn't eat dinner we ate too much lunch so you know there's that anyway next week's going to be kind of a busy week but that's for the next vlog um if you have questions comments or concerns please do leave them down below uh don't forget to like share and subscribe most of us who do youtube and bring you content whether it's big channels or little channels unless you have like 5 million subscribers, you don't make anything. And so I have a Patreon. And if you'd love to have uh, ready access to me to get questions, ideas, um, free downloads and stuff once a month, um, come join my Patreon. It's only a couple bucks a month. And I sure would appreciate that. They also have their private conversation with me and their own private YouTube channel with lots of content that you guys don't have over here and have never been on YouTube except for that channel. So yeah, anyway. All right, that's it for the moment. We are gonna finish up our evening and watch the news and hope we don't get any more storms on the West Coast, but I hope those of you on the East Coast that are getting them are, are done with that soon. Anyway, have a good week, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.